Anybody who was anybody in rock and roll played there at one point or another. For nearly 30 years, the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel has been the spot for musicians and music lovers alike. They were really smart when they built it around the Hard Rock Cafe, when they built it around that 80 foot tall guitar outside. You know, they, they built it around something that everybody wanted to get a picture of. Historian Mark Hall Patton says the Hard Rock redefined casinos in Las Vegas. When you were in Vegas, you knew that image. That giant iconic guitar found its new home at the Neon Museum. The cafe is next. It's all part of the Hard Rock's farewell tour. The hotel is being remodeled to make way for a new Virgin Hotel. You know, we're always rebranding. We're always having something new here. Paul Patton says it's just part of survival along the Strip Corridor. You know, that's, that's one of the things that you can take as a given in Las Vegas. It's going to change. We booked this hotel, I guess, thinking that, uh, yeah, it was pretty iconic symbol. Locals and visitors alike told us they'll miss the staple. You know, it has a lot of fond memories, you know, but at the end of the day, it's literally the end of an era, you know, it's, it's, it's getting older. It was known for all the rock and roll memorabilia that was on the walls and that was the place that you went if you wanted to think about the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. The hotel owner promising Hard Rock faithfuls he won't let the music die. We are reinventing this property to bring it back into the future, but with that same vibe and that same excitement. And the hotel says most of the people who work here will be coming back when it reopens as Virgin Hotels. The Hard Rock officially closes in February. Reporting live, Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.